Hello, this is Tanya with TK Sewing Machine and Repair, and today I have a Lady Kenmore. Uh, fabulous machines, uh, made in Germany. Uh, these machines make the most beautiful stitches uh, that you'll see. There's a whole, I've done all the stitches uh, on here. Just amazing stitches. I like them because they just have what I call a daintiness to them. They're not big and chunky. They're just very, very dainty. And of course, you can change the look of a stitch by um, changing uh, the width and the length of the stitch. So right here, this stitch is the same as this stitch right here. So you just change. You just change the settings and uh, the stitch does something completely different or it looks completely different. <clears throat> so this machine uh, operates completely. Um, it does have uh, some finish issues. Uh, some of the paint is missing off of the hand wheel. There's some wear right here where uh, I can imagine that somebody was always touching it when they were using the hand wheel. There's some paint chips on the base of the machine around back here uh, but overall it's in really really good condition beautiful machine um, it was missing the uh, face plate that uh, the nose plate so I made one to go on here so it's covered it is so this nose plate is not original to the machine but um, it is covered now, so uh, you won't get a, more dust and lint and stuff inside uh, the nose while you're sewing. Um, it has a bobbin, and a bobbin holder comes complete. Um, one interesting thing about this machine is that, let me get the camera down here, tilt the machine up, is that this has the wrong um, the wrong plate on it. This is a Kenmore 89. It is not a 117.84. I've had 117.84s and they're completely different than this machine. So this machine is very unique in that it is labeled incorrectly. So I don't know if that is a selling point or not <laughs> but it's kind of a fun fact right uh, this machine will operate outside of a cabinet if you purchase fr it from me locally I have cabinets uh, that this machine will go into um, so let's do some stitches and you and I have several Kenmore cabinets and you can choose which one you like the best so, um, let's change it to just a regular old straight stitch. Here we go. Um, oh, I have it on a short stitch. That's what's wrong. This is how you adjust the uh, stitch length is right here. I, I ran out of bobbin. Okay. So really pretty stitches. And I guess now I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin on this thing. So you take cover off, unload your bobbin. I'm going to use different thread because I don't want to re-thread it right now. So you have two spool pins back here. Release the clutch. 
And that's how you wind a bobbin. We won't fill it up all the way because whoever gets this machine may not want a <laughs> or need blue thread in their machine. So load the bobbin in. So this is a standard class 15 of bobbin holder and bobbin. And just get it so, so you can tell if the tension on a bobbin is right if it catches. Sometimes it'll fall a little bit. But this bobbin is right for this machine. Did I get this tangled? I sure did. There we go. And tighten the clutch with both hands. <laughs> pick up the uh, bobbin thread. So here we go again. just sews beautifully. It just I love the sound of this machine. And let's change it to a zigzag stitch. We'll go to the widest setting. sew on this machine all day long. It is so lovely. Such a nice machine. Um, so if this beauty ends up in your home, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>